Bada boo! I got a tenant. This is the new REI Passage 2. We're going to show you a picture at some point. That is the tent. This tent weighs approximately 4 pounds and 2 ounces. And it can fit 2 people and maybe even a piece of gear like your backpack. This is great for backpacking. You can put it on your back, you can hike with it, and then you can set up your tent with 2 people. Which will hopefully happen soon enough once COVID ends. Here are the bits that are going to be in your tent. Your tent bag, please don't lose that. Your poles. Your tent stakes. Your tent stakes should look like this. You should have six of them. If you lose them, don't feel ashamed. The troop has enough money that we can buy more tent stakes. And we will. The worst thing is when you get out to a camp out and it starts to rain, but you don't have enough tent stakes, and you can't put your tent up. So just tell us. We'll replace it. That's why you guys do wreath sales. That's where your money goes. Every tent has a different amount of poles and stakes. This one has two poles. They snap together like this. Once the tent gets old, the elastic that's inside of these poles take a gander. That thing, it's like a bungee cord. It won't be as stretchy. Once it stops getting stretchy, tell us. We'll replace the poles. Ain't that cool. So you'll have two poles, a rain fly, a big tent that you'll sleep in, and then a ground cover. The cool dealio with this tent is that your ground cover is included with your tent. Kapow! This is the rain fly. Take a gander at that. It's green. It goes on the outside. When you look at it, it has clips. These go in the corners. When you look at it, it's got a shiny side and a matte side. The matte black, or the, sorry, matte green side goes on the outside. That will repel water. Here is your tent. It has the clips. You'll sleep inside of your tent. Tent goes like that. Now you may be asking, Tyler, where is my ground tarp? Don't worry, it's here. It is underneath, and in fact, it is secured to your tent. See that? Take a gander. Wow. It shouldn't come undone, but if it does, tell us. We will fix it. When you pack your tent away, the easiest thing to do, lie it flat on some surface, probably not a table, maybe your yard. You'll take your poles and your tent bag, put them together, and if you don't know how many times you have to fold your tent, you look at this and you count. One, two, three. Some tents fold in half, some in thirds, some in quarters. You'll figure that out just by seeing how many tent poles wide your tent is. Then you'll fold it in half, in thirds, and then you roll. Tents are very precious, so let's not just stuff them into the bag. Try to roll them and keep them nice. That'll keep all the wrinkles out too. I'm going to show you how to fold up a tent all nice and pretty. So your first step is your tent with the built-in ground cloth. It's going to go on the ground. Make sure all of your items are out of the tent. Close the doors and make sure you get all the dirt out from the inside. We shall now continue. You're going to put your poles, fold them kind of like this. One by one, two by two. And you'll just kind of put them in the bag. You shall tie your bag. Your Boy Scout overhand knot will do. It shall suffice. Now come in for a close-up. 
see this life hack I taught you earlier? You line your tent, pulls up with the edge. Oh, one, two, oh, three. You're gonna fold it in thirds. Now here's your last checkpoint. You gotta make sure you have your tent, your rain fly, your ground tarp, your poles, and your stakes. Put them all at one end, and you're gonna start rolling. A good reminder now, if your tent is wet, bring it home and dry it first. Your tent will get moldy if you roll it up like this when it's wet, and then you let it sit. Now that you've got this big mound of cloth, it's a good time to ask one of your scouting buddies for help. If you don't have any friends, you can tuck that big tent in between your legs and just start getting the bag on on your own. Sometimes your tent won't fit and that's okay. You can just try again, roll it up tighter, and then hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, tell your parents to do it. If you're ever confused and you don't want to talk with me or watch this video again, we have a massive instruction list. Baboom. It's pretty much all I just said, except it's not as cool. And that, my friends, is how you fold a tent. <laughs>